Welcome to Java Programming for Beginners.com and today I want to talk about four tips I have for you to learn how to program Java, Android, any coding language as fast as possible. Just a quick background on me, um, I didn't know anything about coding two years ago. I had so many app ideas I wanted to do and I just didn't know where to turn. I tried YouTube videos, I tried reading books, eventually I settled on an online course called Team Treehouse. I learned Java basics in one month with them, I learned Android in two months with them, and I made my first app, the app that I had always wanted to make, um, the, the app idea that got me into coding in the first place. But anyway, in retrospect, looking back, um, I really wanted to make this post about four tips I have for people to learn programming faster because there are a lot of pitfalls when you begin that might make you learn slower. So let me just get into those. So number one, you don't want to rush to learn programming. I know this is kind of counterintuitive where you would think that going faster would make you learn faster, but you really want to take your time and you want to get the solid basics down so you can accelerate through your learning as fast as possible. Because if you if you try to skim over things and then come back later, it's just you don't get that cohesive picture of of the programming language you're trying to learn. And in the end, it eventually hurts you. And it actually makes you learn slower, if that makes sense. So taking your time in the beginning is essential for speeding up the learning later because those base, basics are what will make you learn fast in the long term. All right, number two, pay attention to mistakes. It's really easy to have mistakes and then just patch them over with one line of code. But you really wanna pay attention to the mistakes you've made and learn from them and learn the correct solutions to them so you're making sustainable programs because the more you code, the bigger and bigger, bigger your programs are gonna become. And if you just patch, get into the habit of patching little mistakes, then you're just, that's just not good because once you have a huge program, it'll be impossible to manage. Um, this is just, this is hard to explain, but you have to actually code to understand what I'm saying. Um, but when you have a huge program and it's just a bunch of patches, it's a nightmare to, to um, fix and to have other people manage. So you really want to focus on your mistakes and learn the right solutions to those mistakes instead of just patching them over. That'll speed up how fast you learn. So number three, cover every lesson thoroughly. I know this is common, but you really want to go through every lesson. Even if you've already heard of the lesson, read of the lesson, read a book on it, you still want to go through every lesson. When I did Team Treehouse, I would skip lessons because I thought I already knew them because I read a Java book about them but you really wanna watch every lesson because later on you might have missed a tiny detail that was essential to doing the program correctly. And then you have to go all the way back and then it, it takes a ton of time. So you wanna make sure you go through every lesson, uh, whether you're reading a book, whether you're watching a video series, whether you're doing Treehouse. Um, you wanna make sure you do every lesson. So in the long term, you're going to learn faster, get a more cohesive basis um, for your knowledge of the programming language. Number four, you wanna schedule a time to code every day. You wanna have maybe 30 minutes to two hours every day where you code. When I first started, I was coding four to five hours every day. I would stay up late at night. I don't recommend that. If you're a busy person, that probably won't work for you. So I recommend 30 minutes to an hour every day. Just do one or two lessons. This is what's great about teamtreehouse.com. They actually send you emails of the lessons you need to do every day to finish a track um, in a certain amount of time. So if you wanna finish the Java course in one month, you get maybe three video courses emailed to you every day, do these courses, it'll take you 15 minutes and that's it. So this is really good, that's what Treehouse does really well and um, this is what you wanna do. You don't have to get Treehouse, you don't have to buy anything, you can learn everything from YouTube videos. I personally don't recommend that because I tried that and it didn't work, but you wanna find a time to set aside every day to code, make it into a habit, it's just like working out. I work, at a, I work out a lot and it's just something you build over time. Just like working out, at first it's tough, but then once you build a habit, you go to the gym unconsciously. You don't even think about it. Same thing with coding. You're gonna stop thinking about it, and eventually you're going to build up the skills to the point where you don't even need to think about it. It becomes easy, and it's just an automatic process. So those are my four tips for learning to code Java, Android, any language as fast as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. And also check out my website. If you're a beginner to coding, if you've never coded before, Team Treehouse is the best resource to learn how to code. I talk about them on my website. There's a ton of posts you can read. You can read about me, read about the apps I made, read about how long it takes to make an app, all, all kinds of things about coding. So check out my website below or you can click this annotation right here. Thank you so much for watching. See you later, guys. Bye.